Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It is your natural nail guru, Tati. Hi. And today we're gonna be doing some fun nail art. So fall is just around the corner and animal print is definitely a hot trend for the fall. So I figured today would be a good day to do some tortoise shell. Yay. I appropriately wore my In My Own Shell shirt. It has all my lovely little tortoises on it. So we are definitely ready to go on this side. I'm gonna help you get ready to go. I'll show you what it is that you need to accomplish a tortoise shell look, your tools, and I'll show you how to do the look as well as how to get a little creative with it so that you can spice up your next fall manicure. Now, before we get into all the juiciness, if you are watching this video right now and you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? No other channel is bringing you more thorough product reviews than this channel is right here. All the tips that you need to improve the health of your natural nails, get longer lasting manicures, I'm gonna help you with, as well as fun nail art and a couple of other amazing things that could totally benefit you, whether you're DIY or professional. So take a moment, subscribe, get that share button out there with all your fellow nail enthusiasts. And for those that have already, thank you so much for your support, I do appreciate it. Let's not waste any more time and see what we need to accomplish this tortoise shell look. Okay, so to do tortoise shell, as far as tools, um, you definitely need a brush. You don't need such a thin liner. I use kind of a raggedy old liner because um, I'm gonna blotch around and stuff like that. But I do wanna get some really fine details around the edges. Um, so not too big of a brush, but you don't need a fine point either. And you can also have just a regular oval gel brush or square gel brush. I honestly do pretty much all of it, even brushing on the layers with the striper. But at most, that's what you're gonna need. You definitely need some clear coat. I would use a top coat. Wiper, wipe off or no wipe off really doesn't matter. Um, I'm just using some Born Pretty because I did a review on their stuff and I got some of their product. Um, so I figured might as well use some of this, but um, I recommend clear coat, not base coat because you definitely want a polished coat consistency. Um, so clear and then as far as colors, you want to have a shade of yellow um, I kind of like going for the yellows that have a little bit of an off tone to it, like an orangey tone or mustard tone. You definitely need a good solid black. I use DND Black Ocean. It's just a really good formula, um, really thick consistency. Um, you can also do a shade of orange. Um, this is in place of the yellow. You can also do a shade of orange. You can really just change up the tones. Um, you can mix them a little bit to get more of a, more of a orangey yellow if you'd like. Uh, you definitely need a shade of brown. So here I have like a reddish brown, I have a regular chocolate brown, and I have a grayish kind of taupey brown. Um, you don't need all the shades, just you need a shade of brown. So your base is gonna be the yellow or the orange. Your background spots, I guess you can call it, are gonna be your browns, and then the black is gonna be for the contrasting top layer spots. Um, and then your clear polish, because we need to shear out the, the color. So whichever color we use for our base, we're mixing it in with clear. So that's pretty much it, essentially. Those are the colors, your clear and your brush. So there we have it, we don't really need much. Brush, clear polish, yellow, orange, brown, black, we're good to go. So let's get it together and start working on that tortoise shell. Alrighty, so tortoise shell is a really, really fun animal print. I absolutely love it. Um, you can do matte look, you can add some foil to it, do color blocking, and just kind of, you know, maybe make a French tip or a swirl. You can manipulate where it is that you put the tortoise shell, but I'm gonna show you how easily you're gonna be able to accomplish these looks and uh, see how fun you can twist up your next fall mani. Let's get started. So right here I have a couple of tips that I just have base coat on. Um, I have my little palette that I showed you. I'm gonna need a lot of clear gel, so I'm just gonna go ahead and Pour that right there. I really like this one. See if I can, oh, there it is. This one is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna go for, I guess like an orangey sheer. Uh, let's go with this one. Mix it in. If I want it more sheer, I'll just mix in a little bit more clear. throw in a little yellow in there why not have fun with it all right so I'm gonna go ahead and layer up my first one this is what I mean by pretty much do everything with the same brush it's such a thin consistency that I just find it easier to brush it on there 
but this is really the only part that you would use the oval brush to brush on that layer. So I have my first layer on, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. Okay, so we have our first layer cured. Tortoise shell is a process of layering. What I'm gonna do is I want my spots to be a little bit spread out. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a second layer or a second coat of my sheer mixture. The more fluid you have this layer, the more fluid the spots are gonna be. So I don't want it too fluid. I just want it to blur a little bit. So I'm not trying to put too thick of a coat, just enough. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with my color. I like this reddish brown. So I'm gonna go in and start making some really funky spots. And right here, there is no wrong way to go. You can make as many or as little, separate them as much as you want. Make it look like some's coming out of the edges. And this part, I want it to be a little bit sheer because I'm gonna make another little layer of this color, I guess you could say. All right, I'm digging that. Let's go ahead and cure it. Okay, so we cured it. Now this part, I'm gonna go in, and I'm not gonna darken all of it, but I'm, I'm just gonna go in and get some really good color on just wherever the, the brush feels like going. Oops, wrong one, got too excited. It's okay to go over a little bit. You really don't want these spots layering right on top of each other. These I really want to be pretty close because the black ones we're gonna totally offset. All right. I like it that, let's cure it. All right, cured for 30 seconds. Now I'm gonna go in again with my layer. I wiped my brush with just a moistened towelette, I guess you could say, a little lint-free pad, just to take off all the dark because I do not want that bleeding into my sheer. Look at it, you can already see it coming together, don't you? Yeah. I love tortoise shell. I'm just gonna make sure I get a nice even layer. We do not need spots or a coat too thick. Nice, that looks beautiful. Okay, so I want the black to be pretty solid. I do not want it bleeding in, so I'm gonna cure this, 30 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my black and I am just going to make weird shapes again and connected but offset. I don't want them necessarily mirroring, but you can make them however you want. You can make them just spots. Uh, again, there's no wrong answer. You can get as creative as you'd like. So, oh, it's always so stressful this first moment. Okay, I'm just gonna put this one right here. That's just where it felt like going. Oh yeah, that was perfect. Okay, I'm liking that. Ooh, let's cure that. Okay, so I am going to, this is now cured. I'm gonna go ahead and make another layer of my sheer, but I'm gonna make it a little bit more sheer, get the more sheer sign, because I just want it barely tinting the black polish. All 
right, so there we go, and I am going to cure this. Voila! So here we have a finished look. From here, you can go straight into applying the top coat. Um, you can do a matte top coat. And actually, I would love to see how this looks matte. I'm using Wildflowers D&D &D matte. There's a couple other matte coats that I've reviewed that do nicely. All right, let's cure that. Voila, there you have it. A beautiful matte tortoise. This one actually would look really, really cute with foil, so if you wanted to add something else, I'm just gonna apply a little base coat here so the foil sticks. I use Gelish Base Coat. It is my constant. Out of all the products that I've used and tried, that's one thing that I just know for sure is my absolute favorite. Now, I ran out of gold foil flakes. I actually probably have some sitting in my mailbox right now because my delivery says it is here. But I'm going to use some of this rose gold, and I'm actually really liking the way the rose gold looks with this. So I don't want too big of pieces, and I kind of want them a little bit. All right, that's cool. You don't have to have it perfect. There's beauty in the imperfection. Let me tell you. Look how cute. Okay, let's cure this real quick. All right, so since I put foil on here, all I'm going to do is just go through and smooth out the flakes that I put on there because I'm going to top coat this with some gloss. Although you could totally keep this matte with the foil. It still gives it a really nice effect, but I want to try this with gloss. And voila, here we go beautiful with gloss and a little bit of foil flakes in there so we saw it with the matte look and now glossy with foil we're going to do another tortoise shell um, this one we're going to do tortoise shell doing negative space so doing either the french tip or one of these cute little swoopies pretty much just restricting the tortoise shell design to whichever part of the nail you'd like. So we're gonna just do kind of like a super offset French. I definitely want more burnt orange brown tones for this one. So I'm using this burnt orange over here. This one is, um, which one is this one? Susie needs a locksmith? No, my Italian is a little rusty, but OPI. You can accomplish this by just doing a nice burnt orange and adding some brown to it. Okay. That's pretty good right there. So this is gonna be negative space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to restrict where I put this clear coat to the area that I want the tortoise shell. And I kinda of wanna do like an offset French. Um, so let's, uh, let's kinda, yeah, let's do that. That looks cool. All right, so I made my little line of where I want my border to be. And now I'm gonna fill the rest of that space in. All right, let's go ahead and cure that. Okay, so here we have the first coat. You can really barely see it because it's just the first coat. But there we have, you can do this just with the French tip. Or if you wanted to do the swoopy, then I would have done the swoopy with the sheer. So what I'm gonna do now is I want the background dots not to be messy like the last ones that we did. I just want them to be really nice and smooth edges and I wanted orange and brown tones. So I'm gonna go Mix a little bit of these two together, because why the heck not? I like this one, but I kind of want it more brown. See, that's that's so much better, a little more vibrant. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in and make some spots, and I'm going to want some to come from this little line that's kind of sheer, the edge. We're not blending in the edges, but we are making super weird shapes. The weirder, the better. Change up the size so it's not all the same. You can make them just dots if you want. All right, 
I dig it there. Let's cure that. So here we go, dots are cured. Now I'm going in for that second coat of my sheer mix. Remember that sheer, you can make it as sheer or as milky or cloudy in color as you want. It is really up to you. There is no wrong way to do it, that's for sure. I'm just gonna make sure that I follow along the initial line that I made. There we go, and let's go back in for curing. So there we go, it's cured. Now next we're gonna do our black spots. And these are going to be offset from the ones that we've already done. I'm happy with that. Let's get that cured. So here we go, now it's cured. I am definitely gonna go in one more time. I'll get more of the clear side. And I like doing this because it tones down the black a little bit, because we want the contrast, but I prefer not so much of a contrast, but again, there's no wrong way. You put as many layers as you like. There we go, let's get that cured. And there you have it. You incorporated negative space, you did something funky with it, you can really manipulate that shape into anything that your mind can create. Um, and you can also do a lining around the edge if you want that separation, and I'm actually gonna do that. So let me get, what should I use here? I'll just use this one. Um, I'm gonna use a finer lining tool. And I like using really thick polishes when doing lines because you just have more control over the sharpness of the line, I guess you could say, because the polish isn't um, as fluid. And I love, I use Accents Gel, but there's so many different gels in a pod that are really great consistency and good bold coverage that you want, especially when it comes to the glittery stuff. So I'm using a liner and I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and line those edges. Let's go ahead and cure that. Now because tortoise shell does have spots, you will get little lumps, so you always want to make sure that you're taking a look and leveling out wherever it needs that extra. All right, let's give it that final cure. And voila, there we have it. Another beautiful tortoise shell design using negative space. You could do swoopies and instead of adding the lines around it, have them separate. You can do French. This has definitely been a trend. Seeing the animal print French tips. Super, super cute. Let's do one more tortoise shell. Um, let's do it with color blocking. I love mixing it with color blocking. That is really nice. So essentially we're doing the same thing as negative space, except we're filling in the negative space with color. So this one already has one coat of sheer. I'm just gonna go in with what I already have ready on the table. Um, I'm gonna do this brown, which is kind of like a reddish brown. And I wanna say this one is gelish pumps or cowboy boots. Now this one I'm gonna do a little bit more minimalistic, I guess you could say. I feel like that could go up a little there. Okay, let's go ahead and cure that. So there we have it cured and you already know what to do. Let's go in with that second coat. And since I'm not going to be putting any tortoise shell on this little piece over here, I'm not gonna worry about going all the way over. 
just right where I need it. And I'm actually gonna do messy black spots on here. So I'm gonna go ahead before I cure that second coat and I'm just gonna go in with my black. off pulling this in just a little bit I don't want it to like do that soupy marbling I really want it to just kind of fade a little bit so I'll touch up the edges all right let's go ahead and cure that Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with some black, just on some key parts that I really want to be dark. Not on all of it. I do want to show a little bit of fading of the black. Okay, perfect, let's cure that. So here we go, and you already know, last step, we're gonna do one more clear coat really, really thinly. I don't want too much. Okay, let's give it one more cure. Okay, so now we have the nail completely cured and we're gonna go in with the color. So what I'm gonna do is I have this damp with alcohol. I don't want my color to bleed. I want a really sharp line. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off any of the inhibition layer that is on the part that I'm gonna put, and I make sure it goes a little bit over because I want to bring it really nice and close up to where I did the tortoiseshell design. Let me make sure all oh, that's white. Let me make sure I don't have any hairs in there because they love making their way. Okay, we're good. I am using Seventh and Flower, which is this gorgeous, like, I don't know, fuchsia magenta color from the OPI. Downtown LA collection. If you guys did not see that swatch video, check it out. Beautiful collection. Hands and feet, do they match? Gonna have to see it to find out. All right, so once I've wiped, um, if you're doing this on someone's nail bed or your own, a striper brush might be easier, but um, I got a little free space around here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and polish in. Gorgeous, let's get that cured. And let's go ahead and go in with that second coat. Oh my God, so cute. All right, let's cure that. Beautiful, now you can go in and line that with an awesome neon yellow. You can do gold, you can do silver, you can do black. Um, honestly, whatever color you desire, but I'm actually gonna leave this one as is. We're gonna go ahead and just put that top coat since I lined the other one. The clear coat, that last coat just always brings it all together. And always make sure when you're doing your top coat that you're leveling out any of the spots that just need that extra little help from all the little bumpies we created doing the tortoise shell. All right, and here we go, a beautiful color block tortoise shell using this gorgeous fuchsia color. Um, I mean, there's just so many different ways that you can use tortoise shell, getting creative with it, using negative space, doing French and these cute little swoopies, um, color blocking, or simply just changing the tones of colors that you're using. Um, tortoise shell essentially is just layering a sheer base with, uh, you know, spots. Um, and kind of offsetting them. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Doing it matte, adding some foil, lots of fun. Um, definitely something that everyone can do. And I do hope that after watching this tutorial, you feel confident in your tortoise shell nail skills. And I'd love to see some of that. Um, but that's pretty much it. 
So that is all for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. I hope that the tutorial was helpful. I hope to see lots of tortoiseshell creations out there. And if you follow me on IG, um, tag me on it. I'd love to see what you create with it. I will be showing a little slideshow at the end of this video of a couple of other ways I've done tortoiseshell with different colors, different aesthetics. So hopefully it'll spark some creativity for you. Um, definitely make sure you stay tuned. We have lots more to come, more tutorials and products that are going to be reviewed. So you don't want to miss out. And thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.